In this clip, I want to talk a bit about policy and as it relates to uh, the ASAD model. To start out with that, uh, recall that we've discussed uh, the issues of monetary neutrality and fiscal contraction uh, when we start out at a medium run equilibrium. So if we have a medium run equilibrium and we try monetary expansion or uh, fiscal expansion, fiscal contraction, uh, the question is how do uh, the short and medium run effects differ? Now that is not the question that policymakers usually have to answer. Policymakers have to answer the question how we get back to the natural level of output and the natural level of unemployment when we are in a recession. So assume that AD shifts to the right due to an investment contraction such as for example the 2001 recession or as well uh, the recession of 2007 through 2009 uh, uh, Combined with a consumption uh, consumption crunch, etc. So let's uh, let's just assume we have a privately led uh, contraction in demand, and therefore uh, an undesirable short run equilibrium, where we've moved along AS to a point where output is below the natural level, unemployment is below, uh, sorry, unemployment is above uh, the natural level and prices are uh, below what had been expected uh, prior. How do we get back to uh, the natural level of output? There are a few options. First, uh, shift AD back up. So with, a mon with monetary policy, we could shift AD back up uh, and get back to the initial red point. Or with fiscal policy, uh, an increase in so here M or an increase in G, we would uh, shift AD back up and get back to the initial uh, red point. There is, however, a second uh, option, namely to let the market self-correct. So instead of government intervention, which would be either through M or G, we uh, wait for self-correction. How would that play out? Based on what we've learned uh, in this in such an equilibrium where P is below PE price expectations will be adjusted downward. So AS will shift downward until we get a new equilibrium back at the natural level and back at a medium run equilibrium for prices with a lower price level. Does that work? Let's think about the problems that this uh, self-correcting mechanism uh, implies. First, uh, bankruptcies. What happens if the price level falls and hence your wages fall to your mortgage debt? The same for uh, for firms that have an outstanding nominal value of debt, what happens if the prices they can charge for their products fall? The real value of their debt rises and the number of bankruptcies will increase. This is what's usually called a debt deflation. So deflation as prices fall, uh, <coughs> real debts rise, bankruptcies rise, which leads to further contraction in uh, the natural uh, in in output, and so that if there is a significant amount of debt uh, in the private sector of firms and households, uh, debt deflation is is a large problem for a self-correcting mechanism to play out. There's another issue, though, that uh, is equal, equally important, hysteresis. Uh, <coughs> what do we mean by hysteresis? Now, first of all, <coughs> uh, what we assume is that this level here, Yn, is invariant. 
it does not change. We have so far assumed that YN simply does not change. It depends on the institutional characteristics of the labor market and so on and so on. It depends on our technology, so A does not change and so on and so on. Now, uh, <coughs> we can make a simple assumption, namely that uh, if the duration of unemployment is long on average, or the duration of unemployment increases on average, then uh, those long-term unemployed will lose skills. If we lose skill, uh, the natural level of output will shift towards the left. So let me uh, clean this up just a little bit here, so maybe we can read this, <coughs> read all this a little bit better. Uh, and let me include this here in green. Uh, in green, so suppose that this adjustment process takes too long so that the price is falling and self-correcting takes so long that uh, the unemployed have to wait and wait and wait lose their skills <coughs> and yes then we might return to the natural level but the natural level itself will have shifted towards the left so there would be a new equilibrium where uh, P is equal to PE and Y is equal to YN, but at a lower level of output, a lower level of natural output and a lower level of natural output per capita. Both of these uh, reasons, the risk of hysteresis and the risk of debt deflation, <coughs> might suggest that using intervention through uh, monetary policy and fiscal policy is the right way to go.